Brew Motor Fest. Now, we have two R35s in the Street Tier 2 category, all right? We've already covered this one. Now we're covering the Nismo. Like I said, the only difference is the Nismo has better zero to 60 and uh, breaking a little bit of lateral G. Um, this Nismo also sounds better, but performance wise on Kiss Me Kombi, I don't remember which one it was, but they were only 0.1 seconds off of each other. I could easily do it again and even them out. You know what I mean? But um, the Nismo sounds better and it does launch faster. So it gives you a little bit more of an advantage. Um, they're really fairly equal. There's really nothing like, it's not like one of these is a whole second or two faster. Like they're very even. I would go with the Nismo just for the sound alone, but we'll get into this pro settings, grand race, get you out of here so you can check out some more tunes, subscribe, come back. You know the drill boys, come on. Power distribution, okay? 45% front. If you look at stock, 2.4 seconds. We got it down to a 2.1. That's pretty big for street tier two. Brake balance could not improve it, so we left it at 60%. Suspension, springs front, 8% stiff. Rear, 6% stiff. Damper compression front, 13% stiff, with a negative six soft in the rear. Damper rebound front, almost maxed out, 19% stiff. Rear, 5% stiff. Roll bars, just a 6% up front, 9% in the rear. Camber, negative 25 up front, with a negative 15 in the rear, right? Yes, the settings for this and the regular are different. Okay, you gotta compensate for the weight. And um, this one, even though it says it has the same horsepower, it does handle a little differently. Zero to 60, I guess, is probably the reason why. But for the most part, I would go with the Nismo. They're both good though. Just like I said, sound alone. So Grand Race, you boys know the drill. Subscribe, come back, see you on the next one. All right, we're testing out the R35 Nismo. Yeah, now after some testing, uh, the regular R35, which is 600 pounds lighter, uh, and this Nismo, uh, the only thing that's different is the Nismo has a better launch, but it's 600 pounds heavier, and they both post practically the same times. Like, they're literally like 0 0.1, 0 0.2 off of on Kiss Me Kombi. So there's real, like, there's no real clear winner. They're both, they both perform the same. All right, what do we got? Nismo time. Didn't slow down enough. That's fine. That's who else is gonna cut car? <laughs> oh yeah. Now, like I said, when I did testing with the regular R35 and then this Nismo, practically the same. Uh, the Nismo does feel like the handling is just not there compared to the regular one. But they're both uh, pretty damn close. Sounds damn good. Hurricanes all over the place. Actually, the, the handling, it's really not that bad on this. Yeah, that's how, how you want to play it in. I'm surprised we made it back this far to the, uh, the front after literally getting wrecked out in the beginning and going to last place. Zipping. Yeah, both R35s really are good cars in Street Tier 2. Alright, I believe we're switching. Well, as you can see, the Nismo kept up with and passed uh, some Huracans.